How's it going everyone? Shane Magnuson here, Northwest Bait and Scent, and we're back in the shop here in Shrimp today, uh, getting ready for our new year. Springer season's coming, we've got sockeye and then coho, and you know, we're using, uh, we're using these coon stripe shrimp for everything. But I uh, wanted to go through our cures. So we've done some changes over this year. We've come out with a new cure. Uh, we've made some adjustments on how we're using our original cure, and I just want to talk about that. So the, uh, the new cure we have out is our new mag blend, the Zillabet mag blend. And this is a very um, plain cure. It's very sugar sweet forward. Uh, this is uh, not a hot cure at all. This is designed for early fish, early springers, the early sockeye, uh, coho late in the year when the water's cold and the fish are real brand new and fresh. Now our original cure, uh, which we've talked about many times in the years past, uh, this has definitely always has been a hotter cure. It's more salt forward. And this is going to be, as, uh, as those springers start to mature a little bit later in May and into June, uh, again, when the sockeye get in there, they're a little more mature up, up in our upper Columbia or tributaries late July and August. And, uh, and then also for our fall Chinook, like a little bit of this hotter cure. So you got your hotter, more salt cure, and you got your real plain, more sugar sweet cure um, in, in our two cures. So... What I've done is I've sorted some shrimp, and this is real important. We sort them out, and so we use the best shrimp. I'm a little bit picky. Um, try to get out uh, some of the real big ones that I don't need, the real tiny ones I'm not going to use, uh, some of the ones that have black heads or has free any freezer burnt looking stuff. Oh, we just sort them out. So to go through this, uh, we're going to do one jar of each. So let's start with the new mag blend here. Open that thing up. Now, this is real easy. So we're gonna do three quarters cup of kier. Into a uh, quart jar, this is a wide mouth quart jar. And then we are going to load that jar with shrimp. And I've already sorted these. So we're gonna pack those in there. I like to shake them down so we can use up as much as that jar as possible. And then we're going to do a half cup of rock salt or ice cream salt, whatever you want to call it. And yes, this does get messy. And this will all shake down, don't worry. Now, to top it off with our liquid, um, we're going to use a bottle of the Sam's Pink. Pour that in here. The Sam's Pink Corn Cure, that's going to give you your, uh, your UV dye. Um, it also gives the liquid to the jar to help activate the dyes in there. Just gives those shrimp that nice pop. Now the jar is not all the way full, so what we're going to do is we're going to top that off with just a little bit of distilled water just to make sure the jar is completely full. Like so. Make sure all those whiskers in there. Now, we got a little more room for the rest of our salt. There we go. 
And put the lid on. Now this part is where we're gonna shake up that gear and get it nice and activated in that jar. You'll see it start to turn a really dark pink and purple. Get that gear nice and activated. Get that rock salt shook down. That way those shrimp will cure nicely. Now with this jar, you're gonna to want to put that jar in your fridge and flip it once a day for a week. Give it a little shake, flip it over. Next day, give it a little shake, flip it over. That'll allow that cure to work all the way through the shrimp and all the way back through the shrimp for at least a week. And then I really like these to cure um, in the fridge for at least two to three weeks before I use them. Now, let's do one with our original cure here. Clean it a little bit of my mess. So original cure, we've done some testing to make sure this will work out because we did videos in the past where we added extra salt and extra sugar and we've realized we haven't really needed that. Just follow the same directions as you're doing on the mag blend. So original cure, it's a little hotter. We're gonna do three quarter cup of cure. We're going to load that with shrimp. Shake them down good. Do our half cup rock salt. Our Sam's pink UV corn cure. Finish it off with your distilled water. Throw your lid on, make sure all the tentacles are inside. They like them whiskers on there. Lid on and give it a shake. Get all that cure and dye activated. And there you have it, just like that. So you're going to have your, uh, your original Zilla Bait shrimp cure, which is going to be hotter, more uh, salt forward. Takes a couple weeks for it to cure all the way through. And then the new mag blend shrimp cure which is more sugar forward for those early fish that's how you're going to cure your shrimp pretty simple add the ingredients fill it up give it a shake and uh, and then give it some time so it cures thank you guys and uh, see you on the water